Welcome. Today we discuss the next important part in this unit second cytogenetics that is extranuclear genetics. Uh, in previous we have discussed about the chromosomal aberrations and sex determination. This is the third part in this unit that is extranuclear genetics. The question may be asked like write note on extranuclear genetics or explain the cytoplasmic inheritance. Why the extranuclear is called as maternal inheritance or explain the extranuclear genetics is known as the cell organelle genetics. Now is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, first of all, the genetics. Genetics, as you know, it is the branch of science in which there is the study of heredity and variations will be takes place. So, heredity, which is also called as the inheritance, or the inheritance that is nothing but the mechanism of the characters from one generation to the next generation so inheritance it is the mechanism of characters as you know so uh, various characters they can be transferred from one generation to the next generation from parents to the offspring so uh, this mechanism of these uh, transformations of this character is called as inheritance they say ke aapko pata hai jaise hamare parents ke jaise eyes ho gaye या नोज होगा जैसे पेरेंट्स का रहता है उसी तरह जो उनके चाइल्ड रहेंगे चाइल्ड में भी उसी तरह कुछ स्ट्रक्चर हमें दिखता है सो दिस दिस इज द इनहेरिटेंस जो भी कैरेक्टर्स पेरेंट्स से ऑफस्प्रिंग में जो भी ट्रांसफर होते हैं उसे बोलते हैं इनहेरिटेंस देन वेरिएशन वेरिएशन दैट मींस द डिफरेंस सो हियर वेरिएशन इज द डिफरेंस अमंग द इंडिविजुअल ऑफ सम स्पीशीज ऑफ द इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एज एंड Sex. So variation due to new combinations of the genes, the variations may be occur. So here in genetics, particularly the inheritance as well as the variation that will be studied under this term genetics. So here the heredity that means those characters they, that transfer from parents to the offspring. Or uh, this mechanism, which is called as heredity or variation, that means the difference. जो different characters हमें दिखाई देते हैं from gen uh, parents to the offspring, that is the variation. So in genetics, mostly the inheritance as well as the variation that will be studied. So here in your syllabus, there is the nuclear inheritance or extra nuclear inheritance. So first of all. you have to uh, understand about the nuclear inheritance nuclear inheritance that means generally if you see the cell structure in cell at the center there is the nucleus which is enclosed under this cytoplasm so in the nucleus there are number of chromosomes and on that chromosome the different genes are present so these genes uh these are genes expresses the different characters so uh, from this flow diagram dekho in cell there is the nucleus and in nucleus which contain the different chromosomes and each chromosomes they contain the many number of genes and each genes they can represent the different characters so here from this flow chart diagram it is clear that nucleus it is the sole agency of the inheritance nucleus ke andar hi jo bhi characters hum milte so it means it contains 
द न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस के अंदर जो क्रोमोजोम्स है क्रोमोजोम्स दैट बी एस द जीन्स दैट्स वाई एंड दैट जीन्स कंट्रोल द कैरेक्टर्स सो ये दी ट्रांसफर्स ऑफ द कैरेक्टर्स टू द वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन मीन्स देर इज द ट्रांसफर ऑफ जीन्स और ट्रांसफर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस दैट मीन्स द न्यूक्लियस इट इज द सोल एजेंसी ऑफ द इनहेरिटेंस डेट्स वाई दिस कॉल्ड एज द न्यूक्लियर इनहेरिटेंस और जीनेटिक्स जो न्यूक्लियस में जो भी जीन्स प्रेजेंट है वो क्या करते हैं जो भी कैरेक्टर्स है इनहेरिटेंस थ्रू न्यूक्लियस होता है दैट्स वाई दे इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियर इनहेरिटेंस न्यूक्लियस में हमने देखा कि न्यूक्लियस में क्रोमोजोम है क्रोमोजोम में डिफरेंट जीन्स रहते हैं और वो जीन्स इनहेरिट हो जाते हैं एक जनरेशन से दूसरे जनरेशन में ट्रांसफर हो जाते सो दिस टर्म इज द न्यूक्लियर इनहेरिटेंस सो वट इज एक्स्ट्रा न्यूक्लियर इनहेरिटेंस एक्स्ट्रा न्यूक्लियर इनहेरिटेंस दैट मीन्स इंस्टेड ऑफ न्यूक्लियस जो एक्स्ट्रा सेल ऑर्गेनिज रहती है like cyto in cytoplasm there are different cell organelles tell me the name of that cell organelles which are present in this cell chloroplast mitochondria yes chloroplast mitochondria different uh, aur kon kon se cell organelles rehte jo humne pehle study kiya peroxisomes yes yes so this cell organelle they can inherit or they can transfer the characters so exceptionally in some cases the inheritance this takes place by the other matters than the nucleus then it is known as extra nuclear inheritance so jo bhi cell organelle is nucleus ko chhod ke jo bhi cell organelle jo aap pe present hai cell mein they can transfer the characters from one generation to the next generation at that time it known as the extra nuclear inheritance this extra nuclear inheritance mostly that takes place by the cytoplasm therefore the extra nuclear inheritance which is also called as cytoplasmic inheritance this extra nuclear inheritance they takes place by the cytoplasmic contents like the cell organelles like mitochondria chloroplast etc therefore it is also known as cell organelles inheritance so this is the alternative word of the extra nuclear inheritance that is cytoplasmic inheritance or cell organelles inheritance so in exam confusion ke liye a words waha pe use kiye jate that is cytoplasmic inheritance or cell organelle inheritance so this cytoplasmic uh, or extra nuclear inheritance which is also called as maternal inheritance so why it is called maternal inheritance let discuss so in any uh, cell organelles you see the female gametes when the male uh, female gamete and male gamete they will be fertilized then the embryo is formed so in generally the cytoplasm of the female body they take the larger part in the after the fertilizations of the two male gametes and in the embryo formation there is the large or in the large portions of the female gamete or female cytoplasm they are take part in the embryo formation so in new individual the cytoplasm that will be comes from the uh, female gametes and the nucleus of male as well as female gamete they will come from or uh, they are comes in the embryo so in embryo there is the uh, one yen this haploid uh, uh, haploid gamete from female nucleus and haploid uh, again haploid gametes in male gametes both are unite and they form the diploid nucleus that is 2n and here after fertilization the cytoplasm that will be comes only from the female gametes that's why 
these fertilization or these inheritance which is also called as maternal inheritance so female gametes is are generally larger in size and they will they are the stable stable that means stationary phase female uh, female gametes they are generally uh, having the cytoplasm and nucleus figure me apne dekha in male gametes comparatively they are smaller in size and they are motile as you know in any uh, type of fertilization in plants and animals the female gametes they will be stable or they will be stationary they are stay in at one place and the male gametes they are movable they are motile they can be uh, comes with the female gamete or uh, come in contact with the female gametes and then the fertilizations will be start so here these male gametes are uh, comparatively smaller size and they are the motile then these male gametes having the nucleus and there is no cytoplasm in male gametes figure mein aap dekh sakte ho wahan pe aapko cytoplasm nazar nahi hai c denote the cytoplasm so in female gametes cytoplasm is there in male gametes cytoplasm is absent so after fertilization when the embryo or zygote is formed they receives the cytoplasm from the female gametes that means female that is maternal origin female ko hi maternal bolte hai male ko parental or paternal bolte hai to yahan pe in case of the formation of zygote the cytoplasm that will be comes from the maternal side so this uh, extra nuclear inheritance that is also called as the maternal inheritance so extra nuclear which is also known as maternal inheritance all of you got this point your female okay female gametes se large size rehti hai uski aur uske andar nucleus aur cytoplasm rehta hai jo male gametes rehte hain unme खाली न्यूक्लियस रहता है साइटोप्लाज्म नहीं रहता है जब भी फर्टिलाइजेशन होता है तब दो न्यूक्लियस यूनाइट होते हैं जायगोट फॉर्म होता है और जो साइटोप्लाज्म है साइटोप्लाज्म जो फीमेल गैमेट से आता है दैट्स वाई फीमेल को ही मैटरनल ओरिजिन बोलते हैं तो जब भी मैटरनल साइड से साइटोप्लाज्म आता है दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मैटरनल इनहेरिटेंस then the next question that is what is extra nuclear inheritance and explain with example of chloroplast inheritance in mirabilis jellapa or question may be also asked like what is cytoplasmic inheritance explain with it reference to the plastid transmission in mirabilis jellapa so here uh, first of all you have to write about the extra nuclear inheritance Uh, from the same question one then uh, let discuss about the mirabilis jellap so mirabilis jellap it is the one plant in that we have to see in the chloroplast inheritance this plant which is also called as four o'clock plant four o'clock plant kyu uh, bolte hain kyunki jo iska flowering hai flowering four baje uska jo flowering hai wo open hote hain That's why for PM को तो जो बाकी के प्लांट है बाकी के प्लांट में जनरल जो फ्लावरिंग है फ्लावरिंग मॉर्निंग में होता है बट ए मेरा बिली जलपा जो प्लांट है उसका जो फ्लावरिंग है आफ्टरनून में फोर बजे उसका फ्लावर्स ओपन होते दैट्स वाई दिस प्लांट इज कॉल्ड एज मेरा बिली सॉरी दिस मेरा बिली जलपा प्लांट विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फोर ओ क्लॉक प्लांट सो हियर इन दिस प्लांट shows the three different varieties as green white and variegated so jo is plant ke leaves hai leaves hame three colors ke leaves waha pe nazar aate hain ek to jo leaves hai pure green color ke rehte hain ek aisi variety hai jisme pure white color ke leaves rehte hain aur variegated variegated matlab jo green color ka leaves rehta hai but uske upar white white aise pure स्पॉट उस लूज के ऊपर रहते हैं वैसे लूज आपने देखे होंगे 
तो जो मेरा विलिस जेलपा जो प्लांट है उस प्लांट में हमें थ्री टाइप्स थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स के ल्यूज नजर आते हैं ग्रीन पूरे ग्रीन ल्यूज पूरे व्हाइट ल्यूज और वेरीगेटेड मतलब जो मिक्स व्हाइट ग्रीन ल्यूज और उसके ऊपर पूरे व्हाइट स्पॉट रहते सो हियर इन दिज थ्री डिफरेंट वराइटीज जो ग्रीन वराइटीज है इन ग्रीन वराइटीज The chloro or chloroplast it is in green color. In white varieties, the chloroplast it is जो chloroplast है वो पूरा colorless रहता है. And in variegated varieties there are two types of chloroplast वहाँ पे नजर आएगा. एक तो green color chloroplast रहता है और एक colorless रहता है. So क्लियर दिस जो ग्रीन कलर के लूज है उसमें ग्रीन क्लोरोप्लास्ट जो व्हाइट कलर के जो लूज है उसमें कलरलेस क्लोरोप्लास्ट रहता है और जो वेरीगेटेड है वेरीगेटेड में ग्रीन कलर के भी क्लोरोप्लास्ट है और कलरलेस भी मतलब व्हाइट कलर के भी वहां पे हमें जो भी क्लोरोप्लास्ट है वो नजर आएंगे सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस टाइप ऑफ वराइटीज the inheritance or the varieties that will be depends on the inheritance according to the types of chloroplast so here the chart this is the chart in that uh, there are different um, make the circle and in that making the different crosses and up, uh, up when the different crosses will take place the individuals or the progenies, uh, which type of progeny that will be produced, uh, this we'll discuss in the next lecture. But here you can just uh, understand in Miraveli Jalapa, there are three varieties we have to green, white, and variegated. Green leaves, we have to chloroplast, and chloroplast is green color. White, jo hai, वैरायटी व्हाइट वैरायटी में हमें क्लोरोप्लास्ट कलरलेस नजर आता है और वेरीगेटेड में मिक्स है व्हाइट का जो ग्रीन कलर के भी क्लोरोप्लास्ट मिलेंगे और कुछ कलरलेस भी क्लोरोप्लास्ट होते हुए नजर आएंगे देन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके